Okay, let's start. Uh, from uh, assignment wise, it's better and better, especially writing. Pronunciation is getting improved also because uh, uh, we keep teaching different new characters. Uh, some characters come with different uh, pronunciation, like um, nose, nose uh, tone, like Jiang. It's actually you want to open up your mouth, Jiang, going back to here. Uh, like Jing Ying, Jing Ying is a nose, but it, more to the, to the front. Jing Ying, Jiang, Jiang, mm, 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 go back a little bit. All right. You want to, you want to just imagine in your, in your mind, think Jing Ying, or go to the nose, then Jiang, Jiang, mm, at the end, go back, go back. Jiang, Jiang, but a, a small little river. He is not a her. H E is actually my last name, the same pronunciation. So he, you don't need to roll up your uh, tongue. Just keep it flat. He is her, then you roll up your tongue, right? Like H E R. He, her, not her. He, flat. That would be good, okay? Um, now, uh, that's for the um, assignment. Pretty good, pretty good. And some of uh, you did uh, more work, uh, like we said, uh, as a bonus, because everybody have a different uh, has a different uh, background of learning uh, Chinese. It's it's good if you have time, if, and if you like to do it, you are more than welcome to just uh, write it or record it and send it in in, in your assignment. Yeah, uh, we we're, we're, we're happy to to help you to work on. To your your assignment, um, Irene, uh, Irene King, very good on both writing and the pronunciation. Beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, I I didn't get a chance to to reply the um, your uh, with the message. The most of them I, I did, whatever I get. Uh, Basia, very good. Keep up good good work. Okay, uh, Jiang He Xiao is not Xiao Xiao. Xiao, not a xiao, and xiao, xiao, ao, okay, xiao, okay. Uh, let's move on to today's uh, character. Today I'm going to finish up with the, uh, with the uh, uh, five elements. The last one, remember, tree, fire, earth, metal, and water, five elements. We, we, we went through the other four, in, just except this fire, pronounced as ho, ho. Now you can, you can, you can, you can just follow my pronunciation here. Can you see here? Uh, five elements, we, we did uh, all the four in, except the ho, fire. Here, ho. It's like flaming. Tyrus, great work. Wonderful <laughs> pronunciation. Congratulations. Thank you. Good yeah. one. Okay. Ho here is like a f flame. Underneath is the picture. You see, it's a s kind of look like a mountain, but it's different. Uh, uh, if, uh, uh, if I have time later on, I bring up the, the mountain for you to do a comparison. Uh, ho, pronounced as a ho. Yeah. Yeah. Good. It's a third tone. Ho, 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 third tone. Yeah, you for the newcomers, you just try to learn with the uh, hand gesture. You know, mm, yeah, really? Oh, right. I'm, I'm just repeating this. Just, just you get used to it. You use your hand to help you to remember here, establish a concept to you here or in your heart. Depends uh, where you. Yeah, your your yuan is located right now. It could be back and forth again, right? Okay. Ho. 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 That's the fire. Okay. It's underneath here, the picture here. It's like flame. Right? You can see the flame. It then evolved like this. Right, it's written like eventually today's form. 
but you still can see underneath that's a, a wood and then just burning and then flaming, right? Or oh. uh, this then the ho could also serve as a radical pian pang. Remember pian pang on the side, right? Pian pang written like this. You can see it, right? Pao. This one pronounced as fourth term. Pao. Like a P A a P A U L pow, and you uh, except you don't you don't roll up your tongue at the end. Pow, 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 good pow, 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 pow. That means cannon, big big dong 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 dong. That that thing cannon, pow. So you you see the sound? It's like pow 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 pow, right? Yeah. That's that's Paul. Uh, so this character just to uh, help you to remember, the fire could use as the pian pang, radical too. And and also this hole could use as a pian pang underneath, transformed to be four dots. The four dots actually is, yeah you see here. Underneath yeah. that's the, that's the fire. <clears throat> This pronounced as fourth tone. Zhe. 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 Uh, uh. Zhe. Zhe. This pronounced as uh, uh. Zhe. Zhe. R. Zhe. 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 Not a Zhe. Zhe would be like some. Zhe is R I. Zhe. This one is uh, Zhe. Zhe. Yeah, kind of a, if you if you you can do the um, a Britain a kind of accent English accent is H E R. We say here in 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 America her, but in in Britain it's her, the. That's that's the how to pronounce it. The hot. The. There is another character similar to the upper part of the right here. Is here, pronounced as zi, 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 second tone, zi, zi here is written here. You see, is a man. His hands, or her hands, was locked up. This is kind of handcuff, ancient handcuff. Because he he or she commits some kind of crime, he was locked up. The yeah, I the reason in this side or left side or right or right side, human at a very ancient could be it, 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 they don't differentiate. Later on, they 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 transform to all left side, and it transform to like this. A uh, simply simplified form because some of you guys could could read the simplified form, so also included here. What does this mean? You did something or you violated the law. You did something bad. You lock up with a handcuff. That's the meaning of the attachment. You are locked up by your heart because you are attached to something. And you, you see this man here? You see this man here? Yeah. It's kneel down. When you are really attached to something, you kneel down to whatever you are locked up with. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah. yeah. So you you shake it off and stand up. Say, "I'm a noble man. I don't want to touch it. I'm go the good way, sunny way, bright way, right? That's to get rid of the attachment. Yeah, it's it's not that hard. You just stand up, shake it off. Okay, I'm just walking towards the sun, right? Breathing sun. That's the thing. That's the okay. The the last character we're learn we're gonna learn today is Bao. Is here. Is here. Bao, and uh, you see here, original meaning of a bao actually is the a little baby inside here. It, uh, in a, in mom's warm outside is mom's warm, simplify mom's warm. That's the original meaning of this character. Now it's uh, uh, when generalizing the bao means the bag. You buy a new bag, LV bag that that kind of bag. All surrounded because when you are young, in mommy's warm, you are surrounded 
but the love and the actual physical body of your mom, everybody. That's that's the meaning uh, original meaning of a bow. Uh, pronounce with me, bow. 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 Okay. Okay. So you link these two words. Bow. If inside, surrounded inside is fire, that's kind of dong. Does it make sense? Yeah. Eventually, you're going to be uh, every baby eventually delivered, uh, give a birth. Yeah, delivered by mom. But it, so the same kind of connotation come here. If inside surrounded is a, is a fire, when it's delivered, that's called a pow. That's called a cannon. Pow. Uh, pow. Here, pow. pow. And this is pronounced as a pow. As a fourth tone. This is a, 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 the first tone. Number one. This is number four. Pow. Okay. Yeah, let's uh, 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 practice this one more from the uh, from first one to the end. Let me clean this up. Okay. Ho. 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 Okay. Now, the second one. Pow. 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 Good. The third one. Zhe. Good. Zhe. Zhe. Okay, that's good. And the fourth one pronounced as zhi, second tone. Zhi. Zhi. Yeah, in, in Chinese, there is a two word, two character together uh, make a word called a zhi zhuo. That's attachment. We are gonna get into the zhuo later on. Zhi, you hold it and locked up, actually by your by your by your own uh, by something. But uh, the real zhi is locked up by something in your mind, mentally, or your heart. So that's how you locked up. You all you want to do is shake it out, the handcuff, and stand up. You don't you don't need to kneel down like this. Stand up, shake it out, shake it off this, and you become a noble man. All right? Okay, that's uh, get rid of this all. Okay, bow the num the the, four, the fifth one. Bow bag. Bow. First one. Bow. Bow. Okay. Bow. Yeah, original meaning here. Yeah, now you you see the you see the pian pang combined with the other side of the character, right? Here's the other side of character. If, for example, now I'm uh, introducing the more and more principle how to learn Chinese. If you change the pian pang fire as water, take a guess. What does it mean? What does it mean? A dam breaks. Cool. Okay, it's close, close. Because you see, the, the this part here is uh, something surrounded, and if someone is is, is fire, is a cannon or something exploded, Butter. but it's water. Bottle. Waterfall. Bottle. Wa water coming out of uh, something surrounded. Uh, a spring. Bottle. Bubble. 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 The spring, the, the bubble. bubble coming out of the the water. Bubble, bubble, bubble. Fountain. Great. Somebody just said a spring and a fountain. Yeah, it does has a meaning too. But original meaning is bubble. Fountain. Bubble. That's the uh, the the, uh, the water bubble coming out of the, uh, the water. That's a pow. Oh, it also pronounced as pow. This pow is fire, bang. This pow is the uh, bubble, 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 bubble. You see that when uh, in 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 the, uh, in the fish tank, you use, you use a, a, a tube getting the air. Da, 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 those kind of little thing that's called a pow. That's that's the water, okay. But if oh, let me write down with this. But if you have something surrounding inside, but uh, we add another uh, pian pang. That's the hand. We talk about this right hand. Did it? Did we? Oh, okay. So Not yet. <laughs> I'm just telling you, this is the hand, so hand, but uh, 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 pian pang is written like this. We, we use a hand, surround something, what is hold. 
right? That's toad. Mm -hmm. Okay. So now, if you learn this bow, remember this one is the surround, something surrounding inside. You, you have fire, you have water, you use your hand to hold it, that's the bow. Give a hug, that's also a bow. Because you use the two hands to surround somebody you love, right? Or show your uh, friendship, whatever. Your kindness. Okay? We get into this, this more and more now. Now, you remember all this uh, pian pang, water, fire, metal, wood, combi combined with the right side. Your vocabulary is going to expand in very fast. Does it make sense, Jack? Yeah. Jack? No. Makes sense, right? <laughs> he asked okay. if these are our new words, and I said yes, and he said yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. And then this is the right, written, writing part. I remember last time uh, and the before, uh, the Tyrus asked about the pronunciation why. We'll get into that later on, okay? Uh, have a tongue twister to practice this. When you combine this written part and also the pronunciation part, to a certain stage, say when, when we get to like 100, you're gonna exp your vocabulary is going to explode like 10 times. Psh, psh, psh. Oh, you know it, you know it. You can take a guess how to pronounce it. This is a pow, this is a pow, and this is pow. You always have the same uh, 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 vowel part, oh, A-O. Yeah. Uh, this is a pow, right? Okay. Uh, if you don't remember, don't worry. Don't worry. I'm, when we get into this pow, another character, I'm going to repeat it again, again, then uh, you get it. Okay. You can, you, 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 you can predict take a really quite very good guess on the form and also pronunciation. When you accumulate to a certain level, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's not that hard, okay? Just a little, little, little need a little bit patient to yourself. All right, uh, so let me move on. Okay, this is, see, this is a zizuo thing. Yeah, this is the ancient handcuff in China. Nowadays, it's like metal. So if you're locked up and you kneel down like this, you're locked up by a, a handcuff, you attach to it. You don't need to. You just need to shake this off and stand up, right? Stand up. Okay, that's the thing uh, uh, for the, this character. Oh, okay, the, the assignment for today uh, to, uh, to write this and uh, pronounce it, this five word. So it's character. pao, ru. Zi, bao, okay, yeah. Here you 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 see the uh, you see the uh, pian pang of this, okay. That's a ho, and also another form of ho, okay. Just like xin, remember the heart. You can write it on on the on, on the side or also underneath. Later on, okay. Like this one is thinking. This one. Uh, what, what did we what did we did teach about this uh, about this uh, pian pang? Uh, we did. Um, I forgot. Did we do huai? I forgot. No, it's not huai. A uh, qin maybe sentiment, or I, love. You have the heart inside here. This is your hand. This is your house. This is your heart, and this is your leg. You have if you love somebody, you have your body and your heart together. But uh, in a, a simplified form of I, they take this out, they take this heart out. So although modern people, they, they say love, they, they say it is superficial without heart, then it's not real love. So they see the traditional form and the simplified form, it's totally different. <clears throat> That's a kind of a de uh, destroying the, the traditional culture from the written part wise. Okay, <clears throat> I got, is that too much? Or okay, it's okay, right? Okay, it's okay. Okay, yeah. great. Thank you. And um, the uh, now the uh, the assignment for uh, for today is this five. Now um, I want to summarize here. Now uh, five elements, tree. How to pronounce this? Mu, mu, force, force of mu, and now fire here. Ho. Ho, that's the fire. Ho, right? Now here is the two, earth. Pian pang serves as a pian written like this. 
is the land. Jing, Jing, right? That's the uh, uh, gold or metal. The uh, pian pang written like this. This is silver. This is copper. We, we talked about silver, uh, taught the silver uh, as a bonus. Taught uh, copper. This part pronounced as tong. And water. Uh, pian pang is three dots. You see, it's a very interesting. Three dots is water. Four dots is called a four dots water, but it's, it's fire. The 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 most uh, let's say let's, let's say it that way the hottest water is the fire. What is that? That's oil. You see, then water becomes fire. But uh, you want to put off the fire, you you can use water. But if it's too much, like if there is a big fire in the forest, if uh, you, everybody have that common sense. The big fire in uh, of, even in a house or in 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 a compounding, uh, the big company of a house or in the forest, if the big fire, you cannot use water, because at that time if the fire is too big, you use water. The water getting because the high uh, temperature so re, re, it's gonna dissect the H O two, become H two and O two, then it's become explosion. So now you, you see the, 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 the turning point of from yang to yin. Water to the extreme become fire. So now, okay, three dots is water, four dots is fire. Jiang, we just uh, told last time, right? He, and also we talked about this, this character, right? Fa, law, or regulation, or principle. Fa. She is a little brook. That's that's uh, I think I give it as a bonus. If you remember, if you don't remember, doesn't matter. But uh, we need to go over this, right? With this pian pang, water pian pang, uh, metal pian pang, tu pian pang, huo pian pang, and wood. Wood. We're talking about two, two tree together is uh, it's not forest. How do you say it? Uh, a, a piece of place with a, like 10, 20 so plantation. Or trees. Plantation. Plantation. Okay, that's a good one. That's uh, in, in Chinese called the ling. Two, you, you have two trees together. But if you have three trees together, pronounced as sen, this is a bonus. I just uh, warm up more and more. This means in Chinese, there is a principle. Anything is getting to three. Three means three. Also means more, many, many, many. You have many trees. That's not a plantation. Now, nah, yeah, that's is that's a forest. Forest. It's the same thing. You have one water. If you have a few water, that's another character. This character pronounced as meow. It's okay. I, you just uh, listen to me. That's 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 fine, right? That means. The water you cannot see the end, the end, ocean, endless water, right? If you have this metal or gold, three go together. Now they pronounce that not jing as a xin x i n. Means beating there. You have too much too much money. <laughs> so it's that simple, right? It's not that hard. Okay. You have a three fires or two fire together means very hot. This is hot, fire hot. This is very hot. This is extremely hot. You don't need to remember pronunciation. You just from picture wise you can oh now that's good, right? Okay, uh, that's all for today's uh, assignment. Yeah, uh, for this week's assignment, this five character. I think we are getting over at least over fifty or even to. Close to sixty characters for the first um, eleven eleven lectures. You guys are doing pretty good, very good actually, out of my expectation. If this speed is okay, or or is too much work, or we can maintain it. Good, huh? Okay, Jack. Thank you for the, for your uh, response, your feedback. Okay, now 
uh, we have uh, four minutes to introduce another uh, concept. I said we teach the character, give a little bit of story about the character, then we teach the concept because that's uh, important for your understanding. Move on, yeah, better. Pictogram and phonetic, uh, picture by picture, sound pro production, and also the meaning. That's called the xiang yi, symbolizing. Symbolizing the meaning. Yi is meaning, right? So this one is zheng. Zheng means right, righteous, righteousness, justice, correct. Under this part, pronounced as zhi. Zhi, yeah, good. Zhi is you, you, it's, it's like a it's like a foot, a, a foot. This is the toes, toes. This, yeah, this is symbolizes a, a foot. This one is a square. When we're talking about this tian, remember at the very beginning, tian is like this. Human, there is a one part, and it transforms to be, uh, then transform like a one stroke. That's that. One stroke means dao, right? Remember, mm -hmm. right? So what what the what the meaning of the zhen? You transform like this to here. Okay, we have two minutes. That's what for for question and answer. You stand there. The, the, here is your foot. Symbolize where you stand. Wherever you stand, is a go abide by, or you have a principle. You have a Tao. You you stand the place right mm -hmm. underneath a Tao, underneath Tao. That's called right. That's called justice. That's called righteous. The zi also is original meaning of a zi is a, your a foot. When you move, your heart can move, but uh, if your behavior is is stop, that's your foot. That so this is a foot. I also mean original meaning is foot, but now uh, it, it, it serves the meaning as a stop. You stand there, even though your upper body can move, your hand can move, or your heart, your mental is move. You stand there. You don't do it. That's the meaning of a zi. So how, where, when, and where, and how you stop? You 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 stop according to this stroke. Dao. Whenever you do this, you behave you behave by under the guidance of a Tao, that you are righteous. But a Tao has different different layers of Tao, right? Different. <laughs> yeah, you got it. That's the uh, we we talk, we use this character to describe this this this. Concept of Xiang Yi symbolizing the meaning. What's the meaning of righteous? You stand there, you stop there, you can make, discipline yourself according to a Tao. That's the righteous. Does it make sense? Okay, cool. Okay. How, how did it become from the square to, to the square? square? At the at very how? beginning, it's more like a picturized writing. This is the sky. Or heaven is a big. Then we want to uh, more and more abstract it, uh, uh, make it easier for to write, so it becomes like stroke. Okay. It's a okay. Then I give you another one that's called thinking, or thought, or consider, or deliberate, or wonder. That's the meaning of thinking. Actually, it's a two part. Upper part is the head. Um, for adults. Uh, for some somebody like uh, Jack and Tyrus, maybe you don't know it, but for adults, if you you know that a little baby when are, they are very young, like one year or one uh, twelve or fourteen, fifteen, even fifteen months, this part is soft. The the bone is not closed. So if you hold a baby, you you hold it from here. You don't hold it from here because you, you're gonna damage this baby. This character, this character, called, pronounced as Xin here, symbolized. A head, which is not closed, the, uh, the bone is not closed yet. At that stage, for every baby, because the the, the, the bone is not closed, their their yuanshen can come out of here. <clears throat> their third eye is open. Their spirit is free. Oh, so then wow. they, they 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 connect to heaven actually. So you you think the baby don't know anything? They know everything. So that's the part of a si. 
And lower part is hard. This uh, that was, that's that's easy, right? You 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 we learned this already. What the correct meaning of thinking, thought, or consider? You think you line up. Here is the beauty, beauty, beautiful part. You line up your heart and your mind. That's the way to think. If you if you go the other way around, that's not the correct way of thinking. The good way of thinking, you line up your heart and the mind. <clears throat> For adults, we all have this experience. The way you reason, your reasoning is like this, but your heart don't go that way. You are not they are line. You are not line up. The the correct way to think, si, the pronunciation is si, line up your mind, your thinking, your brain to your heart. Does that make sense? Yes. Yeah, okay. If you, you if you think this way, you are gonna be you are, you are un, under this character too. So, ah, okay, all right. <clears throat> but uh, your 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 assignment is only for this five character, right? If you if you want to do include these two thing, uh, ca uh, 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 righteous, or add a uh, thinking, writing or pronunciation, you're more than welcome. If you uh, you feel interested and you have time, if you are. Uh, you you don't have time. You just work on this file, okay? All right. Okay. Any question? You can uh, turn on your mic or yeah and speak. Okay, uh, Chuan, go ahead. Oh, that's Lily. Okay, Lily. Go go ahead. Um, I, I'm also Chang actually. Oh, okay, so, Chang. Yeah, okay. Oh, we have two Chang here now. Okay, good. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. Um. Yeah, um, my question is like, uh, you know, like the dim sum that is uh, called pao, is that written the same with the pao? That, that's uh, the pao, that, that's right. The dancing is the same thing as, as this pao. Yeah, because you have uh, things surrounding the inside, like a uh, uh, dumpling, that's a kind of a pao. Mm -hmm. uh, dumpling, uh, as also the um, we the just bun, passed, the uh, passed the battle one that uh, the 15th days of January. Uh, the, the, that Tang Yuan is also kind of a bow because you have things inside, uh, surrounded inside. Yeah, that's a good question. Yeah. Anything else? I saw Jamie has uh, raised his hand. Okay, Jamie. Oh, Jamie. Jamie. Yes. Yeah, Jamie. It's Jackson. Jack. Do we have to do the radicals too? <laughs> Which radical? Which rad radical you're talking about, uh, Jack? Oh, this one? Or oh, this one? Below the yeah. words that we're doing. He's talking about the whole line of the, the yin, tong, those other ones. He's oh, okay. Here, I'm just show you the. We learned the character before. That's the uh, form of the tree or wood. Main, original meaning of the tree. But uh, uh, when you serve as a uh, radical, you, conform, you, you, you can come up with different character like a uh, uh, Ling or, oh, Li, this one. This one is a, a, a plum tree. This is a tree. It's a specific kind of plum tree. Add a zi. This is a baby. And also, uh, if you read something about Lao Tzu, it's very old baby, <laughs> Lao Tzu. The, the <laughs> meaning here, yeah, uh, because he, he, he described in his work that uh, if, no matter how old you are, you should have a heart, a pure heart like a baby, then you're never old. And that's the way in Tao's cultivation, you want to go back to the origin as a baby in your mind and heart. That's the, their way to do it. Uh, it, it it's yeah it's it's a Taoist school so that's a, a, a tree is called a li li that kind of tree and uh, we just talked about it today is that a, uh, does that answer a question Jack okay cool Mr Hook yeah can I ask you a question C can you explain the um, the ideograph of of Sheen Sheen uh, okay our heart the heart okay. What is about the shin? 
So, so how, what, what is, how does, how is that connected to a heart? The okay, picture? originally it's like this. It's a drawing of a heart. That's the original meaning. You see the uh, upper part and lower part of the heart. Yeah. And actually, you know, when you when you get into a, a more and more ref, a, a form. A written form in Qing Dynasty, you know, the, the first emperor unified the character. You see this part? Does it look kind of as, as abstract as a human? This is a leg, hand, this is the head. And this part is another human. So is a, the left side is yang, inside is the yin. In, in Chinese philosophy, not a philosopher, in, in Chinese physiology, very ancient physiology, talk about in uh, every human's heart, uh, there is at least two little spirit. One is yang, one is yin. If it is balanced, you're spiritually and mentally balanced. If there is something out of order, there's a problem. You are a doctor. That's, that's coming up with another character called uh, being. It's called disease. Original disease, there is two kinds of disease in Chinese character. One is called a ji. Outside, outside here, that's actually symbolizing of a, a, a bed. Anybody don't feel comfortable, uh, sick, or lying on a bed. So whenever you see a character with this radical, pian pang, that means something related to the disease or sick. And uh, when you are you're, you're hurt, by uh, inside this one here is an uh, arrow in the wall. That's an arrow. That's an uh, outside thing, a physical thing. That's a little disease. But there's something happened around with the heart. This is another way to write heart. Uh, and we're going to get into that later. That's a real problem. So all the real problem is come out of our heart. So that's all they're saying. 80, 70 to 80 percent of the disease coming out of our mental heart, and only 30 to 20 percent is coming out of physical thing. If you solve the mental and the spiritual part, you solve the, the majority of the fundamental problem of a human being. Does it make sense? Yeah, okay. thank you. All right, that's the hard thing. <laughs> Good question. All right. Uh, maybe that sounds a little bit uh, uh, abstract to to the, the to the to Tyrus and uh, Jack. Okay. You guys have other other questions? Okay. Cool. <laughs> Any more questions for today? All right. Have a great uh, weekend. Uh, see you next week, and uh, be happy with your, all of your assignment. So for the newcomers, um, I wonder, uh, this is uh, the short clip uh, at the end is for the newcomers. Uh, you come late, don't worry, no rush, take your time and take your time um, to, to catch up the previous uh, video clips. Okay, take you at uh, based on your time schedule. Okay, don't no rush, no worry. But one thing I want to emphasize is the four tones. Okay, Chinese has four tones. E one, number one, number two, number three, number four, four tones. Mm, e is number one, the flat. Mi, yi, yi. The second tone go up. Yi. Ya, like English, mm, the second tone, ya, the third tone, really, let's take a turn, it's like a check. Really, really, mm, yi, first tone, second tone, second tone, yi, the third tone, yi, four tones go from top to bottom, yi. So four tone you want to get used and establish this concept in your mind cooperated your mind your ear to your mouth and when you practice this try to use the hand gesture to help you to establish this connection between your ear your mouth and your mind using your hand gesture 
Mm, yi, ya, ya, really, yi, 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 right? So when we when you practice at home by yourself or we have a lesson, uh, before you totally establish these four tones in your mind, when you look at the sign, um, um, oh, there's a sign here. E, 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 oh, no, it's too much. E, e. Yeah, when the totally established, whenever you see this sign on the side of the character, you, you immediately, immediately know how to pronounce it. Before that, you want to go with your hand gesture to train yourself. It wouldn't take too long, but it, you, it's take the practice. Uh, don't feel silly. That's the way to learn. That's a way, actually, quick, quicker way to learn. Like you, you practice silently, speak it out, speak it louder. To do it, okay. Uh, for the previous like uh, eighteen, nineteen uh, video clips, you just uh, I line it up with a number from zero 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 and zero zero one zero zero two times zero zero nineteen. Today should be zero 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 twenty. Uh, I predict that we have uh, two videos every week and at, the, until, at the end of this year it would be like um, 104, maybe 110 because uh, based on everybody's schedule we may have some uh, live interaction for Q&A sessions uh, once a while. So, so if I, for example, after 12, the, the 12th session is to summarize we, we said our target for the, tw the first 12 session is 36 characters. We, we, are, we are now way beyond, beyond it already. Congratulations, everyone, for the, the old student. You know. um, for newcomers, you just take your pace, uh, catch it up gradually. You can get in anytime uh, on the Saturday sessions. Then you have time, you, you go watch the, uh, uh, by the sequence of order from zero to, to catch it up a bit, right? You can submit your assignment from before. Yeah, I got it from uh, Tom. Uh, a lot of, a big piece of writing. Wonderfully, wonderfully. Yeah, but apparently uh, he or she, maybe she, uh, fairly good uh, a foundation. She learned some Chinese before, so she catch up fast. If you are not, take your steps. Yo, know, go based on, on your own schedule. No worry, you'll be there, okay? Thank you. I will see you next week.